sorry, my camera wasn't recording. So what I'm doing here is making a cauldron for the dolls. And what I've done is I've taken a large piece of black clay yeah, and, and I've conditioned it with a half, a half a block of black and I've had half a block of, um, it's like a silvery metallic. Um, I mix them together because I want it to look like this is old metal. <laughs> So then I've rolled out my clay onto the table into a nice big circle. If you haven't got enough, you can always use you can always use one whole block of silver and one whole block of black to give you enough. But I've used just the half at the moment. So then once I'd got that done, I brought my clay up around the top of the ramekin dish like so. Now I'm just gently pulling it off all the way around. I rolled my ramekin dish on the paper so I got a nice finish on the outside and now what I'm going to do doing is very gently I'm just moving my fingers inside and I'm going to pull the clay off the ramekin dish like so just gently stretching it all the way around like that Hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. So stretch it off. There we are. Don't worry if it splits because we can just put that back together. Just take your time. What you can do is take the little knife end here and gently ease it in between the clay. Very gently. You don't want to push it all the way down because what you'll find is that you'll just make a hole. Okay. So you can just go like that. It's just basically what you're wanting to do is just stretch that clay out so you can get that dish out from inside. Sometimes when we buy these desserts, not very often, um, maybe at Christmas, and then I'd always save the little dishes because they're ideal for mixing paints and things like that inside. There we go. And then once you've got that all the way off, all the way down, just gently ease your dish out. Takes a while. Just let's get that lovely shape. Okay. There we go. And then we're going to get this off the bottom as well. And it's going to just gently pop off. And there you have it. So this is the your cauldron now. But that's one side. Now what I've done is I've made a foil loop just to pop inside there and that will just allow me to be able to keep that base straight. And I'm just going to come back and repair any bits of hose that I might have. Now I want my cauldron to look like it's an old witch's cauldron and it's been bumped and battered around. Um, so I'm just going to pull my clay in again just take your time I want that nice neck to come in like that there we go okay so just keep going around it just gonna take you a while to do this if you find you've got a big lump like I have here you can just remove that with your fingers there we go. that's better that's a bit too much there there was that one a bit there, right, so and just keep going, bringing it around, pulling it back in together again. So you've got a nice round shape coming around that nice bit at the bottom there, a bit more there. Sort of like, and then you can sort of squeeze them together here, I'm squeezing a bit together, and then I'm just going to gently ease that line out with my fingers. Just take your time. Okay. Now I prefer this way of doing it to putting um, foil inside it in the beginning because I always find with the foil you just get it just doesn't look right. So 
and this is my cauldron coming up and I like that nice round shape coming in more at the top than it is at the bottom. Okay. And just keep going like that until you've got a nice cauldrony type shape. So I've gone all the way round and I've taken my finger and I smoothed it out as best I could but I want it to look old and I want it to look as if it uh, was be it did belong to a witch um, or something like that because I want it to be fun for the Halloween party so now what I'm going to do is just take the edge and just roll it backwards just slightly so you've got that little bit of an edge there and go all the way around just gently rolling it back just take your time because try not to split it if you can help it do it very slowly it should just fold back on itself like so mm. I'm going to go all the way around and do that and then we're going to come back around once we've done it and turn it under so it looks like the edge of the cauldron so now we're just going to gently roll it over that little edge, tucking it in all the way around like that. And then once you've done that, what you can do is get your wire and thread that into the cauldron. I'm just going to get all the way around, placing that like that. And the very last bit we want to do is to take your wire and we're going to thread it through the side of the cauldron. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just place a little lump of clay there to give you an extra bit of support. And then you can just take your pliers and you'll bend that up like that and join that together with that piece on there and then do the same on the other side. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, I put a piece of wire on both sides as you can see. It's sitting nicely. Got my extra bit to reinforce the side on that. I'm just going to give myself a nice little bit around that edge so that where that is it's got plenty of clay to support the rest of the the weight of the rest of the cauldron. It looks quite dented and and that's that's the sort of thing I'm going for. I'm going to leave the piece of um, foil in there for now and then I'm going to bake it and then when I finish what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the handle the wire black with some nail varnish and I'm going to put some black duct tape around these two here so that the, there's no sharp bits for the children to catch themselves on. So I'm just going to bake it now. I'm going to bake this one at for 30 minutes at 110 because that's what it says on the packet. So this is our finished cauldron. I've just painted the handle black. Um, the other thing I thought I might do later is just to put some tape around the bits which meet here and here. It's worked out really well and I think we'll be able to put our doll's sweets in there for when they're doing their trick or treat. Hope you like it.